Okay, so we're going to make a choose your own adventure. Here I'm going to start off my Xcode and I'm going to create a new project. I want it to be single view application. Moving on, it's going to be choose your own adventure. Um, I've got my names in here. It's going to be Swift and it's going to be iPhone. Everything else can stay the same. It's asking me where I'm going to put it. So I've got you know, apps, so that's fine. Let's leave it there and it'll create a folder with everything in it here. Nothing that I really need to worry about, um, except for I always change the launch screen to be main storyboard. It means that you're not going to start up with a screen. Uh, it's not going to sit there trying to load a screen that they don't really want. Instead, it's going to be just simple. Now, Next, I go up here to my main storyboard. Now, remember, we said last week that we've got up here is really your uh, main controls. Um, you'll pretty much only ever use this one here, which is the project navigator main storyboard. Move around, just gonna get rid of that. Um, on this side is where you've got all your um, controls for, to see what, you've, what you're doing. So, if I click on this, it will give me information. If I go to format, clicking on it gives me. All, all the details I need. Now I find that this is fairly hard to work at this level. So just to make it easier, I'm going to make it smaller. And we're going to create a view controller. All right, just bring it out there. So this means we're going from one screen to another. Now this arrow here means that's where it's going to start. That's our opening screen. So this is our first screen. And we're going to place, ah, let's put a button. So scroll down and find a button. Here we are, a button. Basically, that button is going to be a next button. Next. And then what we do is we right click on this. I'll make it bigger so you can see it. Right click and drag to the next window. And then go modal. Right, so that means that when I click on this button, it takes me to the next screen. And on here, if you click on it, you can see how we're doing it and we want to get rid of that animate you don't want it to be um, making animation you just want to flick straight from there um so this is a way that we're going to create our our choose your own adventure book really um at the moment it's a, see, a very simple book it goes from here to here now let's say in our choose your own adventure there's a way of actually dying or bombing out or getting something wrong this is also the same as what you do for an impossible maze game um, and I'm going to go down here and put on a label, okay, and put you died or you lost or you made a mistake. Okay, I'll just center that. Bang. And from if you once you get to here, you have to be able to go and start again. Start again. So to start a game, we need to put, send it back to the very first screen. Okay, done. And again, we'll click on this and get rid of the animation. Okay, so at the moment, what we're working on is, this is our first screen. We've got a way of getting to our last, our next screen. In this case, it's our last screen. And you wanna make, see if there's a mistake. So, or if you make a mistake. So here, I'm gonna put in a label. And I go, uh, let's get started. Let's get started. Now, if you want to do this as a choose your own adventure book, the best thing you can do is go and find a choose your own adventure book and remake the game with all the information here. Um, if you want to make a an impossible maze game, or sorry, an impossible button game, then you can create little buttons um, or questions or whatever. So here we're going to go, let's, let's get started. Um, let's say you are walking, you are walking along. Okay, and then on the next page, right, we go next. Next page, we're going to say, you see a troll. Do, full stop, do you, okay, and here's our two choices. This one, um, actually it doesn't matter. So what, what can you do with a troll? We might, let's say, uh, say hi. Okay, that's one option. Or we might say attack. 
attack the troll. Okay. Now, attack the troll is the wrong thing. Let's just say it's wrong. So we send that down here to say you made a mistake. Right, we don't actually want you to attack the troll. We actually want you to go to say hi. Now we can put this one here now. Right, so here's our next page. And we're going to right click on here and send it on and go modal. Okay, now, so you've said hi to the troll. So we've got to continue the story. Alright, now, I'm expecting to have at least five pages of this. Um, uh, the troll returns your greeting. It's your greeting. And you keep walking. Okay, now, you can see here it's getting quite long. It's too long to fit on here. So what I can do is I can put in a bit more room. And then, over on the right-hand side, I'm going to say... There we are, make it two lines. So now if I pull this in, okay, it will fit on the line. It will now all fit on the line. Okay. Now let's put in another complication. Um, you see a frog, whatever. Do you Say kiss it button, kiss it, or what else could be? Um, throw it back in, the, throw it back in the pond, or. Ignore it. There's a frog. Now, kiss it. Gross. Get rid of that. Turn off the animation. Throw it back in the pond. Let's say that one's wrong too. Could be right, but we're going to say wrong. Right, take that off. So it's going to be ignoring it is the right answer. So again, you're going to make your next view controller and go to here. Right, and then we keep going with our story. Uh, you walk past the frog and find a castle. Okay, again, this is too big. So let's add some extra lines. And Let's put it in here. You live happily ever after. All right, so it's finished. Okay. And then you can say here, play again. And if they say yes, we need to take them back to the start. And there is my basic game. Now let's try it. Now we know what the answer is. So first time you build your games, they will generally take a fair while, maybe 30 seconds to a minute. Um, just be patient, eventually it will come up. Sometimes though, it will be hidden in the background. Okay, this one's not just yet. So waiting 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 um i've seen some really good ones of these uh these two zone adventure books but and the bet, easiest way to do it is to go and draw a picture of all different adventures so you can really see which direction it's going um you can plan it out first and then when you go to build it you find a lot easier because you'll know exactly how to get get to places um the other thing you can do is you can move your uh, mistake along or you can move your um, original board along sometimes helps when you have to get from the last one to the first one or from the last one to the to the uh, main mistake board I'm going to oh. 
as I said, sometimes it's running in the background. That's a tiny little window. So let's scale that up to 50%. Okay. All right, so choose your adventure. All right, let's get started. You're walking along. Next, do you attack? Made a mistake. Started getting notice as well. I've put attach the troll. Say hi. And ignore it. Yay, you're finished. And see how that's come up because it's running an animation. And I'm going to go quit my simulator. Okay. Fix up my oh, errors that I've had. Take off that animation. Okay, so it's pretty much ready to go. All right, very, very simple game. I'm expecting you to have at least five pages, uh, plus your fail page and, and your initial page. If you're getting stuck with this, then perhaps you might find it easier to um, do a maths game, so you can do just simple maths questions, uh, or you can make a story. Um, you can make it a bit like um, places where you uh, places you will go. Uh, so it's just a tech, it's just exactly like a normal book where you're just reading it and, and going along. All right, so that is it for Choose Your Adventure. It's your first app that you're going to build.